I'm not going to say the inevitable good morning Vietnam. I could, but I won't. Hello and welcome to Rising Storm Vietnam. Yeah, I was lucky enough to actually win a competition. Me! Me! I never win anything. I actually won a competition on PC Gaming uh, YouTube site for the chance to win a beta key for this game and lo and behold, here we are. So the first thing we're going to do on this video is I'm just going to go into the character. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this music off. Give me one second in here. Where are we in menu music? Let's just turn that off for now. There we go. So while we're actually here, a quick look at the video, you can see I've got everything on pretty much ultra. Uh, there are some post presets in here to make it look like a wall film and a little bit over bleached LSD makes it go crazy. No, I'm not going to put those now. But everything else is pretty much on ultra. So let's go back. Let's go back. So if we go into the character, uh, here we are in the character screen. We can flip our characters around like so. And over here on the left, we can actually change between, I don't know what any of these are. I need a little bit of education when it comes to Vietnam stuff. So we've got the Pavin, the NLF, the US Army, and the United States Marine Corps. So once we've actually picked one in here, we can obviously change the clothing type. We can randomize the clothing. Um, we can go for the full-on pant look, rolled pants. I do quite like the tan one, actually. It makes it a little bit harder to distinguish in game, I'm going to guess. Um, so I think if this one, if we go for none, I'm not quite sure why we've still got a jacket on. Oh, that's why. Probably need to have that on. Or we can have the bandages underneath, the vest, uh, the warm vest, etc, etc. Not too many head options at the minute, but again, remember this is in beta. And I think, what is that? Hair colour. Just ever so slightly up there. Randomised between the three. Um, yeah, some quite nice stuff in here. I do like the peaked cap. Very cool. Not that one. So there is in here, got your Bruce Lee, you've got your other little bits in here. Um, let's have a look at glasses. Oh, I was hoping the aviators would be silver, but they're not. But no matter, you get the idea. And then we can actually change our tattoos as well here, which is it's just, it's really quite nice. So that's the Pavin, uh, the NLF. I don't even know what that is. Uh, something forces, looks like it's covered in jizz, which is obviously sweat. Uh, some nice little tattoos in there. I do like those. Um, pretty much the same sort of thing as well in here. Uh, very limited on the heads. Grizzled fighter. Headdresses. Yeah, nice. The little pea hats, whatever you call them. Nice. And it'll be the same, I presume. Yeah, for those with the old bloody eye patch. Uh, what else have we got? Yes, let's have it. So there we go, there's the United States ice rib jeans. Quite nice detail on it. It feels kind of simplistic, but it also looks really quite nice, if that makes sense. So we've got the olive, olive drab. As you can see, there's some just different styles in there. Torn pants, rolled pants, vest, rolled vest. I'll go for rolled vest. Well, we've got the pretty much a jacket on, so we're not really going to see much under there. And same for the head. Um, helmets, I suppose. Born to kill will be in here some, somewhere. Peace. <laughs> Born to kill. Skull and crossbones. Uh, what else have we got in here? Bandana. Oh, very. Smell of napalm in the morning. Need a surfboard. Yeah, boonie hat. Um... I think we'll go for the Born to Kill. It's got to be traditional. We'll put some aviators on. I don't know. Get some, yeah, get some of them on. Nice. And regarding tats, we're probably not going to see... Oh, it looks like... So we do actually get the option for camo on here. But while we're out there, fucking those sucky, sucky $10 girls, we'll get some tats as well. Yeah, we'll have that. And, of course, the last one we've got... Oh, we've also got pilot as well. Uh, what have we got for the pilot clothing? Navy tan. I mean, I'm not going to be doing a lot of flying. It's not really in my bag, so we'll just stick with that. US Army and the United States Marine Corps. Now, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That does look pretty cool. 
and we've got high and low. I think that one will blend in with the environment a bit more. And again, options in here for rolled pants, torn pants, you name it. Is that a vest? Combat vest? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. So there is quite a little bit of uh, in here. I'm sure they'll be adding more at some point. Remember, we are in closed alpha, uh, closed beta, should I say? And again, you've got the options for the tats or the camo. I'm probably going to go for the camo for that one. That looks really rather cool. So that's just really been a quick look at the character customization. And in the next video, we're going to be going on to. We're going to be going into these practice ranges. We'll have a quick look at some of the weapons. And then in a separate one, we'll have a look at the helicopter range, which I'm going to be terrible at. Can't fly for shit. But anyway, this has been a really quick look at the first video and a series I'm going to be doing on Rainbow Six Siege, I was going to say then. <laughs> Rising Storm Vietnam. See you on the other side. I ain't no senator's son. Bye-bye.